Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about Utsuai Rumono Mask of Truth or Futari no Haku Oro, which is on episode 19. Now, this episode right here shows a lot of information here and there. I don't know if they did a good job in the game of the visual novel, but we'll have to see. I mean, like, I'm hopefully someone can give me some answers here and there. So, if anything else, let's go. <laughs> We have to it that Yamato is at the age of peace right now and everything seems to be in order. And we have to it that Surana, Urana, or something like that, those chains of Kusagi, those two twin sisters that serve Haku or Oshtar, ends up having to bring him and Kuan to a location, you know? Not to mention um, a woman, which I forgot her name, because I think she didn't have a lot of screen time or spotlight to a point that I should even I should I shouldn't even care. But um they are met with like um Mi the Mi the former Mikaido's like um wife or like um maid how you want to call it I think wife maybe I don't know maybe I'm being stupid but <clears throat> we have to the Kuan and Oshtar is later on taken to the man who's actually still alive the Mikaido you know Andrew's father however we get to know to it that he's stuck in that capsule or s s that status chamber forever you know after what happened to a certain attack here and there and we get to know to it that the guy ends up apologizing to kuan and tells ostar haku everything that he knows you know <clears throat> he talks to kuan that it's because of my stupidity and selfishness i wanted to end something you know is why i invaded your home you know and kuan's like i don't understand you know what were you really after that two score had and we have to it that the man tells kuan that there's a master key I want to go after, and then later on he talks about what happened to humanity. A certain disaster happened, and somehow he, the professor, or human alive, that is, <clears throat> was the only one that survived, and he gathered or created a lot of allies, and later on destroyed anyone who, who tries to get in his way, as he was trying to destroy what was left of humanity. What humanity c became right now is this like um red blob or something called tatari unkami you know that's what freaking kuan calls it and but later on like um <clears throat> later on like um he ends up also talking about like um how like um what you may call it um the akuraka is actually like um something that humanity is supposed to use you know but once you wear it you know in its fuse with you, you can't remove it, which really sucks, which is why, like, um, Haku is still Oshtar no matter what. Even Kuan knows that ha Oshtar was actually Haku, but Haku or Oshtar says otherwise, saying, I'm Oshtar, I'm no longer Haku, because this thing I have in my head, face right now, is fused into my, is fused into my, um, <coughs> body, or fused onto my face whatsoever, you know? And, of course, like, um, of course, like, um, Kua doesn't get the idea of what's going on here. Even Sarana or Urana says, don't worry about it. We just do this and that, you know, that kind of thing. And we have to it that, like, um, we have to it that, like, um, that Haku's brother, there's no use of hiding it now because there's no point. Haku, Oshtar, I'm going to call him Haku from now on because that's who he is. Sadly, though, even though, like, um, Oshtar is Haku or Haku's still Oshtar because he has that Akura mask on his face and it's fused with them. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to say that, that like, it, it's Haku, okay? It's much more easier for me as it'll be easier for you. So, <laughs> Haku, on the other hand, was told by his elder brother that there's a master key that allows him to possibly end what humanity became, you know? Stating, like, um, ever since his, elder bro his younger brother came back to him, you know, etc., and we have to it that um Oshita, that um Haku and Kuan wants to tell Anju about her father. However, the guy says no, 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 no. You cannot tell her because right now, if I'm if she knows I'm alive, I'll just get in the way and cause more trouble later. She needs to be independent. You know, it's, it's very understandable. She's now the ruler of Yamato and right now trying to like um <clears throat> meddling in or interfering right now or telling her about him right now will only make things possibly worse than ever before we don't know but one thing's for certain is that like um they were not just gonna all i know is, is like um his elder brother decides to give haku his task to find the master key and fulfill his death fulfill, fulfill his task to either destroy what remains of humanity 
or to possibly restore them. We don't really know. But one thing's for certain is that like um, Haku is now given another task to find this master key that will allow him to possibly change things around of what of what of what is to come. You know, and we have to eventually that um, that Kuan and Haku talk for a bit and. Kuan therefore talks to Nekone in private, and this is where Nekone let everything out, you know, it's so just Kuan, you know, etc. Eventually, after things settle down between those two, Kuan invites Nekone to come with them to Tuskuru, but Nekone's like, no, 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 no. I spent my entire time with Haku and Ostar, or uh, with Haku already, you know. Now it's your turn. Don't worry about me. I've already had my fair share of spending time with him already, you know, etc. And we have to it that Haku, on the other hand, wanted to leave Kuan behind and says this is something that he has to do. Sadly though, Fumrio was actually next to him and Kuan, on the other hand, says, Hey, 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 where the freaking hell you think you're going, man? You trying to ditch me right now? It was so dang hilarious that Kuan's like, Hey, 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 what are you trying to ditch me for, huh? That kind of thing, you know? Etc. Which I thought it was freaking like um, hilarious and funny in, in in a certain sense, you know that kind of thing. And eventually, like uh, <laughs> um, and eventually, you know, Haku ends up talking to Kuan at night. You know, of course, Sarana Urana, of course, comes along too because they're not gonna leave their master, obviously. And eventually, Ostar and Kuan, well, Haku and Kuan finally decides to tell her about how he lived as a human being or something, you know? And that he plans to maybe travel around the world once Yamato no longer needs him, which is understandable. Once someone no longer needs you, it's only natural that you finally disappear, say, I'm done, okay? It's all on you guys, and I guess that's it. <laughs> but that aside, you know, there's a post credit scene that there's some trouble ahead, but I'm not gonna talk about that because it's very short, you know? All I know is, like, um, the guy's in trouble. That much I can say. <laughs> Anyways, um... Looking forward to like um, next episode and the ones after that. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Right? Peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.